Neighbors living near Gardere Lane are back in their homes tonight after a man shot at deputies and set his house on fire. The sheriff's office says they evacuated nearby properties last night out of fear that those flames could spread. Fox 44's Ariel Salk explains what led up to those terrifying moments. Kellyanne, officials have confirmed the suspect has been identified as 41-year-old Kendrick Holland. According to the sheriff's office, Holland had an argument with his wife earlier in the day. Deputies say Holland shot at her vehicle as she drove away. Sunday night, the EBR Sheriff's Office received a call of shots fired at a home on General Taylor Avenue. When deputies arrived, they say the suspect, Kendrick Holland, fired shots, hitting a patrol car unit at least twice. Next door neighbor, Samantha Self, tells us what she knows. So many like five, boom, 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 and then stop. One of those bullets hit a neighbor's home. The son of the homeowner say he was standing inside where the bullet pierced the wall. I just seen a blast coming. It uh, the, the sheetrock basically came from the inside of the house, got all over my jacket, and after that we just hit the ground. You know? Deputies say Holland then came out of the home and threw something under the carport that started a fire. I seen when that fire started. You know, yeah, it was blazing from the garage. Underneath it was just orange, you know, and then the police blue lights. The fire took Holland's home, taking St. George fire hours to put out. Holland's burned body was later discovered. EBRSO has confirmed Holland had an apparent gunshot wound to the head that appears to be self-inflicted, but the exact cause of death has yet to be determined. Usually a quiet neighborhood. Just so sorry. Just shot. Now the sheriff's office says no one was else was in the home when it caught on fire. This case is still under investigation. Ariel Salk, Fox 44 News. All right, thank you, Ariel.